Hello my friends, welcome back to Keto in the Chaos. My name is Tammy and on this channel I like to share all my tips and tricks on how I lost over 200 pounds without bariatric surgery and how you can be successful on your own weight loss journey. So if that's what you're looking for, don't forget to click the subscribe button and ring the bell for more videos like this one to inspire you to get started. Hello friends, welcome back to another video. Um, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you my entirety, I believe, of my whole second week of recovery post tummy tuck. Now, my official surgery was I had an entire circumferential belt lipectomy, which means basically a 360 degree tummy tuck lower body lift with a fleur-de-lis down the front which is a vertical incision to reduce as much loose skin above my belly button as possible because I had quite a substantial amount there. Um, I also had muscle repair to fix diastasis recti and I had a medial thigh lift, a small little bit, no uh, lipo, no nothing like that. So that is the surgeries that I am in the middle of recovering from. While making this intro video, I am a week out from the the footage you are going to see. I am currently three weeks out, doing pretty well. I have to admit, I am still kind of frustrated with how much downtime I'm having to have, but it is what it is, and I am spending a lot of time still sitting in a chair or over there on my bed. Um, so I'm not gonna give you a lot of week three information since obviously that will probably be coming up in another update video, but in this, video I do not even know I can't honestly all the days have blurred together I don't even know what happened to me this week and so I can't even like give you like a disclaimer um, I can say that whatever happened in this video is no longer probably happening I've moved on to different problems and issues <laughs> that are now the things that are facing me so keep that in mind as you watch this video um, you know I do appreciate all the advice and comments but most of it probably no longer applies to the situation I am currently in, if that's helpful at all. I don't know. Um, I'm making these videos basically for educational purposes. I really wanted anyone who happens to be investigating doing this kind of surgery to have a really good idea of what recovery could be like, things that you might come up against challenges you might want to be prepared for, um, whether or not I used all of those things I bought in my pre-surgery surgery hauls and things like that to see if they help me. You know, there's various reasons that I'm making these videos. One of the main ones I really wanted to show was the weight gain post-surgery. That is caused by your cortisol levels kind of going out of control, your body's response to trauma. It just rushes water to the wound. It's just what your body is built to do. Um, my plastic surgeon says, I don't know why, but it's irritating, right? I mean, we know none of us want to be like bloated and have tons of swelling, but sadly it is part of the process and it is a very important part of the process that you should understand if you are going to go into a tummy tuck surgery. So you, as I go through this week with you, you will see my weights, where I am at. I started on surgery day at 178 pounds. And so you're gonna see like where my weight is at for the entirety of week two recovery and anything that happened to me this week. I, I can't remember what happened to me at this point. So yeah, anyway, <laughs> all that being said, disclaimer is done and let's move on to the video. Hey guys, no nausea this morning. The medicines have all wear off, so I'm trying to take a few at a time. I took Oxycodone at nine, I think that's right, um, with the built bar, and then at eleven ish, I took a gabapentin and uh, Celebrex, all the pain meds. I'm trying to take all the pain meds to see if they're causing it. So far, no nausea. So I'm starting to suspect the um on oh my head. Antibiotic. Thank you, antibiotic. I took those other things with the shake that they made me, and now I'm having a real breakfast. It's a bagel. This is a gluten-free bagel um, with bacon, two eggs, some Swiss cheese. Can't decide if I'm gonna dare to take medicine with it or not. Basically, I'm left between my vitamins and the infamous antibiotic that I'm kind of afraid to take. 
I've already taken antibiotics for two weeks. Do I really need another week of these buggers? Uh, I don't know. But I guess the only way to know is to check it and find out. So we'll see what happens. But anyway, that's where things stand today. They ate. Um, yeah, I'm glad it's not the pain meds. Alrighty, guys, it's like 3 o'clock. So, no, 2, two, two o'clock. And still no sickness. I still haven't taken the antibiotic. So I can't get a hold of my doctor. And because it's a holiday in Utah, of course it is, I can't get a hold of the office either. So what I am planning to do is probiotics in the day and the antibiotic at night. Since it seems that I can sleep through the nausea at night, pretty good with the PM Tylenol. So that's my plan. I hope it's ri not ridiculous. Technically, I don't have an active infection, so it shouldn't affect anything, I don't think. I think the reason I'm reacting so badly to the antibiotic is because I've been on antibiotics for two weeks and everything inside me is just dead. <laughs> so I'm trying to put some live things in there to fight something. I don't know. Here you go. So I am going to be having some more of my yogurt sludge and some popcorn. I don't even know what meal that is today. I think it's third, third meal. I think something like that. And that's my plan for today. Wow. I look a sight. That's awesome. I really need a shower. Alrighty guys, yeah, the pain has gotten a bit much. I've decided I'm not going to take any more of the pain meds except for Tylenol and Tylenol is one off. I'm going to wait and take it at bedtime so that it'll help me sleep. So I've got another hour till then. I'm about to have my final meal of the day. They made me a steak and baked potato. It looks really, really tasty. It's like 11 ounce steak potato with butter, sour cream, and cheese. So yeah, I'm looking forward to eating that. <sighs> I'm hanging in there, guys. I really am, but I am. <sighs> End of day eight, and it's starting to feel a little bit frustrating that other people seem to be doing better than me, and I'm still kind of stuck. But it's okay. <sighs> it's major surgery, right? <laughs> and it's not like I want to be up doing anything. I'd much rather watch Survivor. I'm on like season 39. I started at season one a few months ago, so I'm doing pretty good. Hey guys, first of all, you gotta forgive me for, I'm such a mess and my, my bathroom is a giant mess. I haven't been able to clean anything. Um, just feeling like really gungy. Uh, I was told yesterday when I got the drains out that I should not shower for 24 hours till the drain hole co close. And this is, I wanna show you guys something that I am concerned about. I think maybe that she took the drain out too soon on this one side. Um, this is really wet. This is the second one today that has this, the fluid has soaked out of. And so I'm super worried that um, she took it out too soon maybe. So I don't know if I dare to take a shower because I don't think this one is totally closed. Um, I wanted to show you guys a little bit, if I can, without being too risque, of my actual um, suture lines. You can see this tape's all off of them now. They look pretty kind of creepy. Um, I kind of like my belly button. It's not too big. It looks like he probably sewed it. It looks like he probably sewed it from the inside out, which is good. That means I won't get scars around the outside, but it will probably kind of be too teeny than what I was kind of hoping for. But as far as the rest of the scarring, um, I feel like it looks pretty good. Um, other than I am worried about that one drain being taken out too soon. I think, oh, sorry. Um, I think that this drain should have been taken out. This one on this other side should have been taken out, like one on each side instead of the two on the same side. But anyway, that's where I am, day eight. I mean, I guess it doesn't look too horrible. I am still so unbelievably swollen, it's kind of ridiculous. But what can I say? Like I'm doing everything that I'm supposed to do the way I'm supposed to do it, at least as far as what I know. But I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sponge bath myself, change my um, garment to the other one. I have two of them and hope that tomorrow I can maybe take a shower. I don't dare to take a shower if that hole is open. I'm going to replace that bandage and I'm going to spray everything down with this and then head to bed. Good morning guys. I think it's day nine post-op. 
I think. Um, I slept pretty good last night. I went ahead and had the um, antibiotic and I didn't get nauseated in the night. I don't dare to try it today because it's a holiday, but I might have one tomorrow if it goes well like that again. I'm too scared of taking it now that it made me so sick. Um, this morning Dave made me a strawberry pineapple smoothie and some popcorn to eat. That's going to be my first meal. Um, I'm going to be having my pills here soon probably. And today is a holiday in Utah. We are going to be celebrating Pioneer Day. So I'm going to have all my friends, all my, sorry, I'm going to have all my kids over for a barbecue later. We'll see how up to going downstairs I feel. Hopefully I feel up to going downstairs. So far I haven't taken any pain meds this morning and I'm doing okay. I'm going to take some Tylenol, but I think I'm trying to wean myself off the pain meds at this point. I think I'm to the point where I don't really need them, which is great. It's still everything is really tight, but not like super horribly painful. I walk slow, but not like anything I can't handle. So that's how I'm feeling on day nine. Things are looking up, in my opinion. I'm really liking how I'm looking. Um, I'm liking how um, less swelling there is in the belly area, probably because I'm using the ab board inside my faja, which that's the, the doctor put that on me day one, so I'm really glad about that. Most of my swelling is in my legs and my arms. My arms look ridiculously weird right now. Looks like I just have a bunch of crunchy fat in there or something. I don't know. Makes me want to get my arms done like tomorrow, but I can't do that yet, so I'm going to have to just get used to it. Um, the swelling should go down. I haven't been one of those to do the low sodium, you know. I've been taking my sodium just like regular. And I worry that that's why my weight is up so much and my swelling is up so much. But then I see other people who are eating no sodium at all and they have the same situation. So I think it's just me. That's how I've always been my whole journey. So I'm just going to keep doing what I do and try and keep things stable. So that my body can just like get the chill out and get done what it needs to get done. And then hopefully dump the water off. I really don't like seeing that too in front of my weight. I thought I'd never see that again, so it kind of sucks. But I know it can't be real because nobody gains 30 pounds overnight, right? <laughs> I just try and tell myself that. And the reason I'm weighing myself and showing you guys is so that you can see that that could happen. You know, like most people say, don't get on the scale, and there's a reason. So, morning, day nine. Good to see you guys. Alrighty, guys, it's 11:30. I'm having me gluten-free bagel egg swiss and bacon it's good and some water i think that's all i'm having for my second meal of the day unless i have a built bar probably have a built bar need the extra protein but yeah i'm doing okay just blah. <laughs> tired of being feeling gross i'm so gross <laughs> really need to get a shower so i've got my other Faha in the washing machine, so hopefully I can get a shower by four when my kids come for the barbecue tonight. I really don't want to look like this when they show up. Porch. Having a view. Looks good. What are they doing over there? Something. up and I'm stretching now without super bad pain. I'm still draining a lot of fluid in the drains which is a bummer because I'm really hoping to get them out on Tuesday but maybe I'll still have to keep one of them. I'm having me a shake that Dave's been making me every day. I'm going to miss this when he goes back to work. Mm. Pineapple, strawberry, yogurt, and I think health code shake I think is what he's been doing. I honestly don't know. I'm not keeping track. Are we also going to have Maybe a bill bar. I don't know. Whatever strikes my fancy. It's kind of how I'm doing. Whatever I can muster up. But yeah, my feet are so swollen today because I took off the compression socks. Just was tired of wearing them and look what that happened. Yep, monstrous elephant feet. Lovely. But at least the scale is moving in the downward direction. There's hope that someday soon my legs will not look like elephant trunks, right? I hope. All right, so I'm gonna get back watch, watching TV and relaxing and doing all the things that I do, which is basically nothing. Maybe I'll edit a video today. I'll try. It's really hard. And I'll catch you guys in a little while.
All right, guys, just finished up editing another video for you, finally. And now I'm about to have some lunch. Dave has made me some protein sludge and another gluten-free bagel. Looks great. Can't wait to eat. All right, guys, look at this fancy doohickey I just got. I think it was Michael that suggested this. I can't remember on my Instagram or somewhere. I can't remember. But why the heck haven't I had this the whole time? Hello, guys, get yourself a walker tray. This is genius. I can just sit here and watch on my TV and have my food right here, sitting on my chair. Spectacular. I mean, like, spectacular. I just had friends come over. They brought me some balloons, a few little games to play, and these little sunflower things. These are pens. They spent all this time making little gel pen sunflowers. Isn't that cute? It was Candance Brewer. She has a channel. You should check her channel out, but she's been the best bringing me a little sunshine today. It's been a better day, so it was nice to chat with friends for a few hours, and now I'm back to watch Survivor. I think I'm on the final season, at least the final season that's available on my thing here, so anyway, feeling a lot better today. I had to sleep on my bed last night and I think that was kind of a mistake. I woke up in a lot more pain today. I think because I was laying flat or on my, I tried to lay on my side, did not work out. I ended up back in my chair. So I, I'm about to have my first meal. Just took all my pills and I'm having a smoothie Dave made me and some cherries, probably a built bar. Whatever fa strikes my fancy. I'm on season 40 of Survivor. I'm about, I'm about done with all the episodes that are available. So I don't know what I'm going to watch after that. But I guess we'll figure it out. That's the story of my life right now. We just arrived at my house, guys. Rocky Road. By the time this video comes out, probably too late to get these. I don't know. They never tell us when they're coming out. This one, though, is supposed to be quick, so I'm going to tell you what it is, but you probably already missed it. Hopefully you bought it from one of my ads I put on Instagram, but I'm about to try it, because Rocky Road is one of my favorite things. You know what? It's actually fasting. It's actually incredibly good. Hmm. That's pretty good. Wish it was a puff bar, so it was more marshmallowy. It has nuts in it, which some people don't like. It's pretty good. Alrighty guys, it's almost 3 o'clock, about to have a second meal. Today is a hamburger on a gluten-free bagel, tomato, mayo, and some chips. That's going to be my second meal of the day. Hey guys, be proud. I edited two, two videos today for you guys. I'm trying to catch up as fast as I can. I felt a lot better today. I'm going to go see the doctor tomorrow. And I'm about to have my final meal of the day. It's like 10 o'clock. And I'm having rice and gravy. Um, yeah, I decided that I don't want to be in ketosis after I am when I'm trying to heal myself because I remember um, reading something about carbs protecting the muscle from breakdown. And I thought, you know what? I don't want to be fighting tooth and nail for any kind of healing at this point. And so... I don't even feel bad about eating my carbs at this point. I am pretty glad so far a lot of the water weight has dropped. Today I dropped a lot more, so hoping for tomorrow to be starting to be a reasonable number. My feet aren't swollen as much as they were yesterday, so things are definitely looking up. Is that how you say it? Looking up? I'm looking forward to tomorrow. I'm going to be going out to lunch with Jennifer Costa, who is from here from North Carolina. She stopped at Keto Chow and 
she's been around and, and we're gonna meet for lunch tomorrow after my appointment so that ought to be fun I'm looking forward to getting out and like actually doing something but that made me realize I have no idea if any of my clothes are gonna fit me I've basically been in pajamas for 12 days wish me luck with that guys it's gonna be <laughs> it's gonna be a challenge to find something to wear tomorrow but I think it'll at least be fun It is day 13. Is that even right? I, I'm so lost. I don't even know anymore. I think it's day 13. We're going to see the doctor today. Um, Dave made Dave took the kids to Lagoon. He's dropping them off with a friend over there. And then he made me this on the way out the door. So I'm going to have that. And one of the new built Bars. The uh, Rocky Road and my pills <laughs> and then later on i'm gonna get ready i'm gonna be eat, going out to lunch today even though i'm super sore today i think i can handle it <sighs> we shall see but yeah i'm gonna try i'm gonna wash my hair i'm gonna like try and put clothes on wish me luck guys i got dressed in record time when i realized i had spent way too long watching survivor and not enough time getting in the shower so i'm not gonna be able to even like dry my hair before we go out to lunch. Hopefully it will air dry by then. These pants are so tight. I can barely do them up. <sighs> oh my clothes are so tight probably. Why? Shave. You haven't shaved as long as me. <laughs> That's not saying something though. <laughs> that guys. That's so crazy. No belly left. Nothing but nothing but flat. Not even much gauntlet. Just nothing. It's just a weird and feeling some probably. Are just more sensitive. Mm -hmm. I think I'm not. Yeah, that's good. Like to anything. Yeah. Okay. I usually have you take a deep breath in and then when you're breathing out, then I'll pull it. Okay. Got it. Just a little short guy. Yeah. It was the back. Yeah. I can feel the sting on that one. Yeah, that's good in the back. Which is weird, so this one has to be to the front. Yeah. Which doesn't look like it is. I know. Maybe it's just kind of I'm guessing this one has to be mm -hmm. this one. Yeah. He showed me a picture of one sewn inside me. He sent yeah. me lots of good stuff. Oh, nice. Yeah, let's see. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you didn't get the nurses to film me putting me in the Faha thing? And he's like, what's a Faha? Oh, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> oh, like during surgery? Yeah, like after yeah. it was over, like when I'm out, like putting, yes. me, putting me in that garment thing. I was like, dang, hey, come on. I want to see how you do oh, that. I know. I do too, actually. You <laughs> haven't done that because you don't work over there. Yeah. That went pretty great. We are on our way out to lunch. Um, he was concerned about some swelling that I'm having. Shocker! So to come back in three days. Um, well, let me show you guys what I did with my last drain. It's in my pocket. <laughs> Everybody, I just finished my appointment and here I am at Black Bear Diner with my good friend Jennifer Costa who Hello. is here. She is a follower of the Keto YouTube space and we met once before for five minutes. Yep. 
and she's here in Utah and wanted to meet up and I thought why don't we just go to lunch since I was like dying to get out and she gave me what she gave me awesome stuff and she also gave me this beautiful card and a journal and there's a little gift in here yeah that's that's the important part <laughs> <laughs> so I'm excited. I don't know if what I will buy. I have been looking at a few Fajas online, so maybe. Well, this way you can you can choose. Choose what I want. Yeah. I'm excited. Thank you so much. Yes. So here's my dinner, my breakfast, my lunch. I don't even know what you call it. It's my second meal, I guess. It's called delicious. It's called delicious. <laughs> She's got the hamburger salad. Yes. And I have the omelet with hash browns and fruit. It looks delicious. All right, guys, well, I'm back home, back in my chair, putting my feet up, doctor's orders. He's really concerned about the water buildup in my ankles and feet. And so I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. I just finished season 40 of Survivor. What am I gonna watch now? I cried, it was so good. <laughs> it was so good. Anyway, I have binge watched the entirety of Survivor, starting with episode one. I don't even know when I started it, back in the spring. It's probably been probably a good four months, five months, binge watching Survivor whenever I was eating. Basically, whenever I had five minutes to relax, I would watch part of an episode. And I just finished season 40. And crazy, like, that coronavirus shut it down. There's no more episodes. But I saw online that it says the next one's coming out September 22nd. So I'm all caught up. I'm ready. I'm ready to watch it along with everybody else now, which is great. So, yeah, that's where I am at for today. He is worried that there might be a seroma in my thigh. So I actually, what I did was, I don't know if I can, I don't think I can show you guys <laughs> my garage, but... Well, yeah, you can see it. I actually put a lipo foam inside my faja um, down my leg. So I am hoping that the extra pressure will... This pillow is so dirty. <laughs> I took the... Well, anyway, I took the cover off of it earlier and never put it back on. But, yeah, I'm hoping that the pressure of the lipo foam will do like what it's done on my waist and back that it will like encourage the um, fluid to go out of my belly I did notice today that instead of my belly being like totally sleek and hard and like really straight it was much more like wrinkles in it like there was some fold over skin and I'm like okay it's starting to look more like a real human um, you probably could see that in the video that there was like little bit bumps and like I don't know like more like rolls so I guess I'm not going to have a perfectly bored, straight, flat stomach like a Barbie doll, which is probably good because I thought that was a little weird anyway. So yeah, I guess it's about time I got you guys a video up. I think I'm going to get over to my computer, make a thumbnail for my surgery video, get that uploaded for you because I know you guys have waited 13 days. Don't want you to have to wait a completely two weeks before we get started on the surgery video. So I'm going to get that done and then I'm going to pick a new show to watch. What shall it be? Maybe Picard. Hey guys, it was a pretty great day today. I am feeling a lot more pain, probably because I went out and I'd spent like hours and hours without Tylenol. I can take ibuprofen now, but I don't have any up here. So I took like three Tylenol like two hours ago, but I'm still kind of hurting. So probably I did a little too much today. I'm gonna really try and chill tomorrow and do nothing if I can help it. My mom's gonna be taking the girls to dance, so I shouldn't have to drive yet. Dave's going back to work tomorrow though, so I don't know if I'll starve to death, but I'm definitely not starving to death tonight. It's nine o'clock and I'm about to have steak and potatoes and peas. Dave just brought this up to me. Got my little walker tray. So cool. I totally wish I would have had this walker tray the whole time. Live and learn. You guys should get one. All right, I'll catch you guys tomorrow for my two week official end of this video update or something. I don't know how this is going together. It's bits and pieces of all kinds of stuff, such as the way my brain is working right now. So I'm getting a little bit back more to myself. So hopefully more vloggy type things will 
come to fruition soon. Either way, time to eat. Catch you guys later. Morning guys. I don't even know how discombobulated I have gotten on how many days post-surgery it is. Technically tomorrow would be two weeks from surgery day, right? Because like tomorrow's Thursday and today's Wednesday. So today should be day 13. Yesterday was not day 13. I am so lost. But today is the first day I'm on my own. Dave has gone back to work. Bummer. But before he went back to work, last night he made me made sure to make me a root beer keto chow shake before he left so that he could leave something up here for me to eat. So I'm going to be having that and some popcorn and a couple of Built Bars this morning with my um, Tylenol and other things, vitamins and things that I'm still taking. And then yeah, I'm planning to just hang out in the chair. I'm going to have to go downstairs eventually because I am going to need some food and make sure the kids don't die and things like that. But for now, I'm trying to keep my feet up as much as possible because in two days I have to go see the doctor. I'm really hoping to get rid of this spot in my leg. So I've got some, um, I'm doing like some compression. I've got some compression on it, but I'm also like massaging it throughout the day, trying to get it to like let go of that water pocket right there in hopes that I don't have to have it drained by a needle on Friday. So yeah, that's where we are today. Good morning. And... I'm hoping for a good day. <laughs> well, I tried to get the kids to make me food and they did not want to help out. They just didn't even hear that I was alive or dead. But So I ordered me Grubhub. Oh yeah, baby. Chicken nachos. Morning guys. It is officially two weeks post surgery. I am in the bed today because I woke up at about 5 and I was just so done with that stupid chair. I I feel like I get so stiff, but I don't know. So I came over into the bed at about 5 a.m., slept pretty good. Um, I'm having a health code shake this morning that Dave made for me last night. I'm with my uh, pain meds. Um, I'm alternating Tylenol and Ibuprofen at this point. And I have to say, like, I've had a pretty pretty easy time of it, I feel like. Like, I mean, lots of things haven't gone wrong. And I don't really feel like I had a lot of, like, depression set in. I mean, Dave was starting to worry about me with the nausea. But I think it wasn't really depression. It was just like I was so sick. I have been able to take the antibiotic again without it causing me the nausea. I mean, I have a little bit, but it's not, like, severe like it was. So, who the heck knows what the deal was with that. I took, like, two days off of the um, the antibiotic during the day. took it at night, and then I was able to take it during the day again. And I am taking it because I still have a drain in, and I have this pocket of fluid in my thigh. It is not getting better. So, I'm probably going to have to have it go and have it drained with a needle tomorrow. It'll be my first time driving. I'll be on my own, doing it by myself. <laughs> Which, you know, it is what it is. But I noticed last night, as I couldn't get comfortable in the chair, and I just was kind of like over the whole thing, I started to feel a little bit of depression coming on. And I think it's just, the depression is just from how long this is taking. You know, my daughter got in a car accident last night. I didn't talk about it. She's okay. Her car is completely totaled. Um, it's going to affect us financially because, of course, she's on our insurance. They just barely got married, and we haven't switched them over, you know, to their own yet. And I have really good insurance, and it's going to go higher, you know, my monthly payment and stuff. And I'm just so glad my daughter's okay. And I'm sitting there in the chair, like, with my surgery going, I can't even, like, go and, like, take care of her. If she had gotten in the hospital, all here would have been me, like, limping around, trying to take care of her in the hospital and trying to keep my feet up because I'm so swollen. My feet are so bad. They look a lot better this morning, as you saw. That you saw that I went up on the scale, probably because I ate those nachos yesterday, and I, I don't know why I ate those nachos. I just felt like... 
Nobody was taking care of me because Dave went back to work and I was just stuck eating whatever from Grubhub. I couldn't go make my own food. And that's a total lie. I totally could have gone downstairs and made food. I just didn't want to. I don't know. I think the longness of the recovery is starting to set in. The longness of how much time I'm going to be like just sitting here. And I, I enjoy watching TV and I don't mind just sitting here. But it feels like... How long is it going to be? Like, how much longer? I feel like the... Okay, let's rewind. I feel like the pain was, you know, really intense the first day or whatever, but we were so drugged up you didn't even notice. It was pretty stingy the next day. I had this, like, stingy edge to the, to the back incision, to my thigh incisions. Those bothered me the most. Sitting down on the toilet was pretty uncomfortable because of the thigh incisions. Things like that, you know, like... It was painful, and those things have kind of passed, other than the occasional nerve jolt, which that's just a whole new thing. Whole new thing. Um, as your nerves regenerate, they sometimes shoot little pew, 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 pew down your body. But, yeah, that's a whole other thing. Um, and it got, like, to a point where it was, like, okay, I, could, I got off the oxycodone. I started taking just the Tylenol. Now I'm taking the Tylenol and ibuprofen. It feels kind of like you're just really stiff and sore. Like, almost like when you work out, only not in the places that you normally would work out. It's in weird places. But that feeling, it's been a full week. And I don't feel like it's gotten better. And I think that is where, like, the head games are starting to come in. Where I'm just starting to go, like, am I, like, going to be able to, like, do stuff soon because like everyone says oh yeah you'll be down for a couple of weeks I can go back to work at you know people went back to work and I'm thinking well I mean theoretically I can work I can edit videos obviously I've been doing that for you guys a little bit and I mean theoretically I can do things but it certainly isn't comfortable <laughs> like I'm like how long does this part last nobody's told me like how long this achy, uncomfortable, super tight, like just blah feeling last. And I don't feel like the scar has changed all week. I feel like I still look like Frankenstein. And the more you stand there and like stare at yourself in the mirror, you start to notice things. Like I noticed like one of my hips, uh, the hot, the scar is higher on one side than the other. And I was really hoping for like more like uniform, you know, like same on both sides. And you know, I know, like, when you're laying on that surgery table, he uses his his landmarks and whatever to create the scar the best he can, but we don't know how it's going to all shake out in the end, and having a perfectly symmetrical body isn't normal, but yet, for some reason, me, I'm just like, I feel like it just annoys me that it's not symmetrical, which is stupid because it looks really, really good. It could look a lot worse from what I've seen online. <laughs> So I'm just, I try to be grateful for the small things, the things that do make me happy. I love um, how my skin is starting to look normal and have some wrinkles to it that it doesn't look like completely flat. Because like when I first saw it, it was so tight that I thought, this just doesn't even look like it's real. And now that the swelling's gone down a bit, it does look a lot more real. And I have wrinkles and little bumps. And, and, and most people would probably hate that. But I actually like that because I feel like it makes me look more normal. I don't want to feel like a, a doll, like a plastic Barbie doll. Now I totally get the whole plastic surgery thing because it's like, you feel like plastic. It's so strange. Um, has this whole thing made me want to, like, not do my arms and everything like I've been planning? <sighs> at first I was like, no way, I'm in, I'm all in. And then today I noticed myself looking at my arms. They aren't so bad, right? I can live with <laughs> Looking at my breasts and I'm like, they're not so bad. <laughs> yeah. So you can tell the the recovery fatigue is starting to set in and the thought of doing this again, like, ah, I don't know. We'll see. We will see. Depends on how much I decide that it matters to me. If I decide it doesn't matter and that I'm comfortable now that the belly has been removed, I can do the things I want to do that 
but I know the arms have always bothered me, so it's probably going to get to the point where I don't feel like I'm recovering anymore and I feel normal, and then I'll be like, oh, my arms are really driving me crazy. I don't know. I don't know, but I guess the whole point of this video is here I am, two weeks post-op, and I feel like a whole week has gone by without any change in my ability to do things, and I'm starting to feel depressed, starting to feel bummed about that. Not just about like just sitting here and not doing anything because I love sitting here and not doing anything. But just wondering like how long is it going to be because I kind of thought in my mind I kind of thought like two weeks out that I'd be doing more things. Feeling like up to going downstairs and making myself food. I just don't feel like doing that. I'd rather starve. It's crazy. And like at the beginning, I went up and down the stairs, no problem. I know that the stairs are no problem. I mentally, I know that it's not a big deal to go up and down the stairs. But like, it's just like, it feels like such a task. I don't know. Anyway, so there's your thoughts for two week, for the two week recovery um, deal. As we go into week three with the possible draining of a seroma and... <sighs> I'm trying not to think about all that. I just, that'll be probably in the next video. I'm going to try and do these like a week at a time. And I know a lot of them is just what I ate because that's just what I'm used to filming. I'm trying to remember to do content, but it's just like more of the same monotony. Literally watching TV over and over and over. So weird. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video and for hanging in, in there with me. They're all the good times and the frustrating times and even the hard, long recovery times. <laughs> I'm grateful that you're here and I hope that I'll see you again very, very soon. Bye. All right, guys, it's 3 o'clock, still sitting here. Um, I'm having leftovers, food from last night. Dave bought me this stuff and I didn't eat it. Um, he bought me wings and a salad last night, so I just he heated these up in my little microwave and salad is worse for wear but it's what I'm gonna have for my second meal dinner tonight is some chicken alfredo Dave just made me looks pretty good all right so there you have it everything that happened to me during my week two post-op um, it's been a journey it's been definitely different I've had some moments of despair I've had some moments of trial it has not been super easy. The pain has been easier than I expected. I have had things come up that I was hoping to not have to deal with. Um, but, you know, there's it could be worse. It could be so much worse. So far, I have not had to deal with anything really substantially scary. So I'm grateful for that. And I'm glad that you guys are sticking with me. So many of you guys are watching these videos. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. These videos are how I am paying for my surgery. I put it all on credit. I know that some people probably think that's a terrible idea, but I felt very confident in my ability to earn the money here on YouTube. So thank you so much for watching the video, for liking, for commenting, just for showing your support and coming and showing up here because it's really helping me to be able to be able to put down the payments that I need each month for my surgery for the next, who knows how long it's going to take me to pay it off. So. If you're looking for other ways that you can support the channel, that being said, all that information is in the about section. If you're just looking for weight loss advice and you want to get started on your weight loss journey, I am currently helping people over on my Facebook group. You can go over there and join it. Link in the description. Um, if you want to just follow me in real time so that you can like know what's going on currently, follow me over on Instagram or over on Facebook on my Keto Chaos Facebook page. Alrighty guys, I think that's all I have for you today. Super glad to see you and I'll talk to you all again soon. Mm -hmm.